First and foremost, I just want to remind you, it's okay to not be okay. We human, but what is not okay is for you to stay that way for an extended period of time. Super important that you push yourself and pull yourself out of dark places when you go there. I need you to protect your mind. You know how they say you are what you eat? You also are what you think. You also are what you say. So yeah, everything is crazy around you. Everything is crazy for the entire world. And you have these negative thought processes that are attacking you left and right. I need you. I've told you this before. I need you to block out those negative inner thoughts. I need you to block out those negative inner demons. And I need you to keep your positive mindset on lock have to make sure that you're protecting your mind so yeah you might turn on the TV you got to limit the amount of time that you spend watching the news because that news will feed you that doom and gloom enough news so you know what's going on and you educate it but not much more turn it off I want you to understand early in the morning they're gonna tell you pretty much everything that's going on Everything else is going to be regurgitated over and over again, the same stuff. And they're going to add more things in to make you feel some type of way. Turn it off. I love what Trent Shelton says. Protect your peace. Because as we know, life can sometimes get the best of us. But your mind state determines your ultimate outcome. You cannot listen to everyone's opinion. I know your mama, your daddy sister, cousin, best friend, auntie, uncle, they all got opinions on whether this thing is real or whether it's fake or what you should do or what you shouldn't do. It's imperative that you protect your spirit, protect your mind from contamination. You gotta limit the time you spend conversating and communicating with negative people. Simple as that. You also gotta feed your mind because you know we got a lot of downtime so what that mean? Watching more videos, watching more TV, spending more time on social media. What are you watching? What are you feeding into your system? What are you feeding into your soul? Are we putting ourselves in a position to get better? Or are we putting ourselves in a position to be worse and not as smart as we were before this all went down? So I know, we wanna watch all the reality baby shows. Oh, we gotta see what's going on on TikTok. We gotta know what's going on on Instagram. See all the social media stuff. But is it feeding our soul? Is it making us better people? Have conversations with people all the time and they talk about how they feel this negative spirit is on. Almost like a demon-like thing. And I'm like, listen, what are you feeding yourself? What are you feeding your soul? What are you feeding your mind? What are you feeding your spirit? And then we have conversations and they tell me the things that they're watching, the things that they're listening to. I'm like, well, you don't have a balance. It's all about a balance. So you know if you're gonna listen to this song right over here that's not feeding your soul anything positive, you gotta have a song that's gonna feed you something positive. You gotta balance it out. You're gonna watch this TV show and stop feeding your soul anything. You got that pure entertainment value going on, but you're not getting any good food for your soul. You need to watch something that's gonna feed your soul. You need to have books, podcasts, webinars. There are all kind of empowering, positive things that you can listen to, that you can watch, that you can read, that will make you whole inside, that will help fulfill you. I'm not telling you to cut out all the ignorance cold turkey because, hey, sometimes that ignorance, we, hey, we get a lot of enjoyment and entertainment out of watching some things that may not be the healthiest for our mind. I'm just saying have a balance, okay? Because if that's all you're feeding yourself, you are what you eat, you are what you watch, you are what you read. So make sure that you are protecting your mind, okay? And make sure that you're feeding your mind with things that are gonna make you a better person because you know our ultimate goal is to come out of this situation better than we went into it. We don't want to slip into anxiety. I don't want you to slip into depression because there will be moments when we struggle. We talked about that last week. 80% optimism, 20% worry. And the more we feed our mind and the more that we don't protect our mind and allow those negativities and negative thoughts to come into it, the harder it's going to be to stay optimistic. 
So make sure you have a balance in everything that you do and block out all the ignorance and allow all that positivity to flow into your life. That way, when this is all over, you find yourself winning. You know that's what we all about. Finding a way to climb over the hump of adversity, climb over the hump of drama, and make each and every day of our life a win today. This is a great day to win. Let's go.